Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefano Bernardini and today I show you how to achieve basic authentication and authorization with the Spring module. Let's go! In a previous video I talked about uh, how to expose a SOAP service. Uh, maybe I can uh, link the video in the upper corner. Uh, so now we start from there. And uh, so from the, that project, so my CSW WSDL project. Uh, I already run the project. Uh, I can uh, um, invoke uh, both the grid operation and, uh, and the sum operation. Okay. Now let's add uh, the Spring module. Okay. Uh, I stop the, the application. I can uh, uh, add uh, the Spring module. Okay, I just uh, search for Spring. Okay, add the Spring module. Perfect. Uh, now I can uh, add the Spring Config and the Spring Security Manager. Uh, spring Config uh, ask for a files that is a Beans, uh, a Beans XML uh, file. Okay. So now I have to create uh, this uh, Beans file in inside the uh, main resources directory. So new uh, file beans.xml. Uh, okay. Uh, inside this file, I have to configure the, the Spring Beans. I can find uh, um, some extraction in the new soft uh, site. Okay. So I can uh, uh, copy and paste uh, this, uh, um, this configuration file. Um, I use uh, the Spring Module 1.3 and the use security, uh, Spring Security as a security manager. So I can copy uh, this, uh, this file, okay, uh, here. As you can see, this, the, this is the authentication manager. We have uh, these, uh, uh, these users. So admin with this password, Joe, secret, etc., etc., and these this are the, the authorities. Uh, so role, uh, every every user now is a, a role admin. This user is role ad admin, and this user is role anon. Okay, let's modify a little bit uh, uh, this uh, this configuration. Uh, for example, uh, if if I use uh, Spring uh, uh, version five. I have to uh, ins insert uh, this uh, configuration. I have to ins I must prefix uh, this value uh, before the, the password. So I go back to my uh, my beans and I uh, insert uh, this loop before all the password. Okay. Uh, another uh, things I want to add. Uh, I want uh, I have two operation. So I uh, I want two authorities. Um, two role, uh, a grid role and uh, a sum role. I want the uh, admin have both role while uh, other, user, uh, other users don't have uh, both role but uh, only one of them. So I want that uh, Joe and Anon uh, only a grid while uh, user uh, Ross and Mary only uh, sum. Okay. So uh, these, uh, uh, these are the, the raw, uh, the authenticated uh, user, and uh, uh, this one is uh, the authorization stuff. So uh, admin can do both. Uh, Joe can do only grit, Anon can do only grit, and the other can do only sum. Okay. Uh, let's go back uh, to the configuration. So the Spring configuration point to this Beans XML file. Now I have to add uh, the Spring Security Manager. Okay, uh, name uh, is, is not important. Uh, for example, uh, in the uh, guide, they call it, uh, uh, for example, uh, Memory Provided Provider. And the delegate reference is the same. Of uh, you, you can see in the other uh, in the other field. So the authentication manager is the same name uh, I use in the field. So authentication manager. I copy and paste uh, to be sure. Okay. Uh, now uh, I can uh, uh, add the basic authentication. Okay. I add the basic security here. So both uh, uh, the operation uh, uh, must pass uh, to, to in this way. Uh, the realm uh, I can 
put a name, for example, mule. Okay. Uh, now I only insert uh, the basic, basic authorization, out, basic uh, uh, authentication. Authorization is not yet in place. Okay. Let's uh, uh, try to uh, see if everything is okay. Okay. Okay, there is an error. Um, let me see the error. Uh, you cannot use the Spring Security. Um, okay, um, let's uh, uh, solve the, the error. Uh, let's go to POM XML. Um, when I, I uh, import the Spring module, uh, they use the, this version uh, 5.4.2. Uh, but uh, I have to use uh, uh, not this version because it's not uh, currently supported. I have to use uh, the 5.1.6 uh, uh, point release. Okay, I have already copy and paste this version here. And uh, uh, so I have to use this version in the Spring Security Config and uh, also in the Spring Security Core. Okay, this is a common error. Okay. Let's go back and rerun. Okay. Okay, let's uh, uh, invoke uh, with the SOAP UI. Uh, at the moment, I don't have any auto authorization. Okay. So I have a server error, perfect. So I have to add uh, any of this, uh, uh, of this user, okay? So for example, I add the basic authentication with admin admin, okay? Just uh, uh, add basic authentication, username admin and uh, password admin. I have to set authenticate pre entry okay? Okay. okay, as you can see, now it's okay. Now uh, it's okay also both uh, uh, some and also on uh, uh, this part. So admin admin. Okay, perfect. So I can use also any other name, for example, Mary Mary. Okay. Uh, if I use another username, for example, Mary one, I have the server error. Okay, perfect. Now I can add uh, authorization. Okay, let's move back uh, to uh, MuleSoft. Uh, let's stop. Uh, in order to use uh, authorization, I use uh, this authorization filter. Okay, I place uh, this authorization filter uh, here, but I can also place this authorization here. Okay, uh, if I place the authorization here, is authorization is an authorization. Uh, um, that uh, uh, needs to have for, for every operation, okay? Uh, while I don't want, I, w I want to use a single uh, authorization filter for, for, every, uh, for every operation. So I place uh, the authorization here, okay? So this, uh, in order to pass, uh, I need the greet authorization here, okay? Uh, if I want to pass here, I want the sum authorization, okay? So if I if I'm, I I'm here in order to pass I have to greet I have the greet authorization and here the sum authorization. Let's uh, uh, so we are ready now. Let's check if everything it's okay. And let's uh, uh, take a look at the bins. Uh, as you can see, the admin have both the uh, role, so admin can do uh, both the operation, uh, while uh, Joanon can do only greet and the user can do only sum. Let's see if everything uh, is uh, uh, okay according to uh, uh, our role, our rule. Okay, we are ready. Uh, so let's try with uh, Mari. Let's try with admin. 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 Okay. So admin, admin can do, okay, can do both the greet and the uh, sum, okay, as you can see, okay. Uh, 
let's uh, try uh, Joe secret okay so Joe secret let's try first uh, secret okay let's try first uh, the grid uh, we can do the grid so I okay it's okay so Joe can do the grid but Joe can't do the sum because we don't we don't have any sum authorization so if I put uh, Joe here Joe secret okay I have uh, a server error okay I have uh, a uh, not permitted because uh, Joe can do only uh, only the grid okay let's go to uh, for example Ross uh, Ross uh, can do only let me see can do only sum so if I uh, use Ross to do the grid operation I can get uh, I get an error if I use Ross to do uh, some operation I get an okay okay maybe in the next uh, video I will I will show you how to use API manager to achieve a similar um, a similar authorization uh, but we, with the API manager uh, we uh, we can uh, place uh, authorization only uh, to um, to the main not uh, you you can not you cannot uh, use uh, uh, this authorization here and there a different authorization for an operation okay that's all for now in this video you learned how to use the spring module to achieve a basic authentication and authorization uh, please if you like my video uh, smash that subscribe button and see you in the next video bye